so in today's lessons we will talk about the quotation so here you can see we have taken some quotes from wikipedia website that is the definition of html here you have a some text here in which you are using asap that is nothing but abbreviations and once you move mouse over the abbreviations you will get its full form that is as soon as possible then here you have a someone else word that is quotes here that is albert einstein's quote that is try not to become man of success but rather become a man of value so it is said by the albert einstein that is why it is known as the quotes so you can write the quotes here like this then you have a some tag to write the address in which you can write the email phone number postal address etc then here you can write the citations also that is some creative works like book music paintings anything you want to cite then you can write some special tag for that then you are using some tag to write the text in a reverse order so here you can see usa is written in the reverse order so how to build this all things using quotation so we will discuss it today so for that you will take our basic structure of html document and in that suppose if you are taking some quotations from the wikipedia then you are writing something like according to wikipedia then you are writing your quotes here so you are going to the wikipedia site and you are taking the quotation so suppose here i am talking about the javascript here then i am getting some quotations for javascript and then i will copy the quotations from here okay so i am writing some text any random text i can writing but i am taking it from the wikipedia here so that is known as the quotes so here i will copy the quotes so to mark it as a quotation text you can write one tag that is known as the block quotes in that you have to write the site that means from where you have cited this text so you can write the address that is the link of this website that is link of wikipedia website so you can write it here that means we have taken this text from the wikipedia.org and then you can complete your block quotes here and then you save it and you refresh your html quotation page so you can see here according to wikipedia and then you have taken whatever text from the wikipedia that is written here and it is automatically indented so you can understand that this text is taken from the wikipedia websites and you can see the address of wikipedia here similarly if you want to write the abbreviations so you can use the abbreviation tag in which you can write the title that is suppose i am writing for the fbi that is federal bureau of investigation and i am taking it in a double quotation so it will take the entire text and suppose if i am writing now the case is handled by and then you are writing abbreviations here and then i am writing the short form of federal bureau of investigations that is fbi and then 
I will close the abbreviations here. So now you can see it here. So you are getting now the case is handled by FBI and when you are moving the mouse over FBI, you are getting the full form of FBI that is Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now suppose if you want to write someone quotes here, so you can say Nelson Mandela says and then you have to write the quotes that is given by the Nelson Mandela. So you can write the Q tag for that and in that you can write the quotes. A uh, winner is dreamer who never gives up. This quote is given from Nelson Mandela. So you can write in a Q tag. So it is automatically quoted here. So you are taking two BR tags. So you can separate it like this. So now you can see Nelson Mandela says a winner is dreamer who never gives up. And that is automatically coming in a double quotation. So you can write the quotes using Q tag. Now you are taking few break lines and then you are writing the address like this. So you can write the address tag in which you can write Martin Joseph and you can break the line then you can write visit us and you can write your website address that is myweb.com or whatever you have and then you take the br tag then you are writing parkland avenue then you are writing your full address, full postal address or whatever and you can give the box number that is say 541 and city that is suppose New York here and then you are taking line break and then you are writing the USA. So you can write the address like this in a address tag and save the page and refresh it so you are getting address here so this is special style to write the address in a html document so it is normally looks in a italic fonts now suppose if you want to give the cited works like movie or book or any painting then you can write in a special tag that is known as the site suppose if you are talking about the mona lisa pictures so you can write that is the cited work so you can write in a site tag and then you can write it is by leonardo the vinci in 1503 better you take some br tag here so you can see it in a new line so when we are refreshing the page you are getting the mona lisa in italic font so that is what the creative works by leonardo da vinci in 1503 so you can write cited works using special tag that is known as the site. Now you will see one more tag that is known as the bidirectional override in which you can write directions. That means in which directions you want to read the text. 
so that is normally left to right but if you want to read it right to left then you can write r t l that is nothing but right to left and then you write the this is the text here and complete the video tag that is by directional override now you can see your text is completely in reverse order that means from right to left that means t x e t so here you can see t x e t and all the characters are in reverse order so this is what all about the quotations that means how you can take some reference and then you can write the block quotes here then how you can write the abbreviations and its title so any short form you are writing like fbi so you can see it when you are moving the mouse over it so that is kind of abbreviation tag then you have a quotations here so you can use the q tag for the quotations that means you can write someone else words as it is and then you can write the address using address tag and here you can see some cited works how you can write using cite tag and you have a bidirectional override in which you can write left to right that is normally we are writing and right to left so you are writing text in a reverse manner so this is all about the quotations thank you very much if you like this video press like and subscribe the channel and share the video and don't forget to press the bell icon for my new video notifications thanks for watching